it is ebony and we are back in another day of the life of a wig maker thank y'all so much for tuning in i realize i get the most views on these type of videos so i am just grateful and thankful that you all are just always here to tune in but anyways y'all i'm doing my regular smeggler um i had completed a wig so this is the next the next day after letting it air dry and i'm just taking photos of it and getting it packaged um you know just my regular routine <laughs> i think this particular day this was the only thing i had to do so i got this package ready and i went straight home y'all change of scenery i had to start back working from home yes now actually there's two things that are different here that's going on one this is an old wig or a wig that i had to style for my online wig course to show my students how to make glueless frontal wigs so this isn't a customer wig at all y'all and on top of that, I am at home. So the reason I am home for this week is because my car, my Jeep, my 2020 Jeep Wrangler stopped working. Yes, it stopped working. So my boyfriend let me borrow his car. I went to my office. I got like all of my wig making stuff that I need, you know, to style or whatnot and i just decided to bring it home with me now y'all in that particular clip with that wig i decided to experiment with colors so i bleached the wig and it came out really nice i do apologize that i didn't have any more footage so y'all can see me bleaching the wig but y'all the wig was fire what you're seeing now is this is a completely different day I am back home. This is an actual wig for a customer. And I just decided to go live on TikTok showing people me styling the wig just to get more followers and stuff on TikTok because TikTok is probably the next platform that I am going to um, try to master. I feel like TikTok there's billions of people on TikTok and TikTok is like the next best the next best thing when it comes to um social media platforms. So if you're not on TikTok, you definitely want to get on there. Also, side note, the the clip prior to this, I know it might have looked like I had on draws, y'all. I did not have on draws. <laughs> it was a rumper, and I had a t-shirt on over a rumper. Um, if you guys watch my latest fashion overhaul, then you know exactly what piece I was wearing. But, of course, before I went live and got on TikTok, I decided to... <laughs> I'm showing y'all that I'm on TikTok right now. I decided to go ahead and put on the um, biker shorts that match the shirt that I was wearing because, you know, yeah, I didn't want people thinking that I had on draws. You know, the YouTube video, I can explain that I didn't. But for the TikTok, I was like, let me just put on something with a little bit more coverage. For those of you that are new here, that was my son, Jaden. He's going to be 10 this year. Oh my gosh. Time is flying by so fast. But the wig that my customer ordered was a deep wave unit. And 
deep wave and curly hair in general get really puffy so i like for when my customers receive their units that the hair is very defined and detailed so i was just spritzing it with a spritzer a mist spray i cannot pronounce it <laughs> i can't get my words right i was using a mist spray bottle which can be found on my website everythingebony.com and I was just fully saturating the hair and going in to define it to make sure those waves were popping, okay? to be a new month soon and I am looking forward to it y'all this current month has been the slowest month for business for me ever when I say like I've just been so lucky to just always have um, steady money coming in into my business since I've started my business I've just been so blessed thankful and grateful but this last month has been so slow. It's been like crickets. I've, I've had so much free time. I don't even know what to do with myself. I've cleaned my house like 20 times in the last month just out of boredom. And I try to think about what is contributing to it being so slow. I follow a lot of other bosses, entrepreneurs, business owners, and they say that it's typically slow around this month every year. Um, so I take that into account. Also, I'm not going to lie, I have not been active on social media. <laughs> I'm trying to pull up my wig page right now, y'all. I just have not been active too much at all i think i only made um let me see i'm actually pulling up my account but i feel like i've only made like five posts this month so that probably plays a part in it as well um you know as a matter of fact that's a lot i only made three posts i didn't send out any e I'm so clumsy. <laughs> oh, back to the message. I didn't send out any emails. I haven't been active, actively promoting my business. So I'm like, it's a slow month. And like, I haven't been promoting my business. It probably is me. And it probably is the fact that it's just a slow season. So, yeah, has business been slow for y'all? Let me know. During this period, I noticed, like, it could be very difficult to stay encouraged um, when money isn't coming in and you're spending a lot of money. <laughs> Especially if you have a lot of business expenses. It's just like, okay, I need something to balance this out, level it out. So, it's not fun not having money come in um luckily i do have money saved etc but um i wanted to say even though this period of time if you're experiencing it can be very negative it's so important to still look at the positive side of things because when you look at the positive side of things and you're grateful for just anything you can just be grateful for that is how you attract more positive experiences and positive things into your life so it's so important to remain positive also when you don't have as many weeks to work on you have a lot of free time to think to plan to work on other things that you oftentimes neglect because you have so much going on so be grateful for the free time that you now have available to do other things that you might enjoy or other things that you've been needing to give attention to
can probably tell the wigs that I'm working on now are factory wigs so these are lace frontal wigs that come from vendors y'all I probably had these wigs for like two or three years it's been a very long time just from a period of time when when did these where did these come from this is i think this is when i first started doing ready to ship wigs and they all came from the vendor and i would just style them and my vendor had like a sale where i can get a ton of wigs blah 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 and there were just a lot of them that i just never got around to styling or offering so i was like okay since i ain't got no orders coming in might as well pull these from the back closet <laughs> and work on them so what i did was like i parted them and i styled them y'all but i ain't gonna lie i still didn't like them and i realized why i never used them to begin with it was because they were too thin like they were thin but it gave me something to do and you know if it would have turned out decent, then I probably would have sold them. But in my heart, I just cannot sell them because they just so thin. Um, I did end up washing some wigs that I also was supposed to launch, which you guys will see me bring in two wigs into the room at some point in this video. Those were two wigs that I actually made myself that I washed and that I ended up styling and putting on my website. But yep yeah.